calculating half-life. In this problem it says if the half-life of a substance Z is 2.5 years, how long would it take for 3 grams of the substance Z to remain given an initial mass of 48 grams? So we know that half-life, half-lives, we know that we're going to find the fraction of the original nuclei that remains after n half-lives equals one half to the power of n. n is how many half-lives half that have happened and one half is every time that every time that the half-time is reached then half of the substance is gone. So let's say for instance the first half-life of this is going to go from 48 to 24 and then 24 to 12. So we're going to keep moving but after 2.4 2.5 years. So to do this problem, to see what's remaining, we have the remaining over the initial. So we have the remaining grams over the initial grams. And that's going to leave me with 1 16th. So we have 1 16th of the original left. So we know then that 1 half to the n power, so this is going to tell me how many half-lives, how many half-lives have passed and I'm going to set that equal to 1 16th. So when I solve for n, what I'm going to find is that n equals 4. So there have been 4 half-lives that have allowed it to reach 1 16th of the original 48 grams. So all I have to do is now multiply 4 times 2.5 which is 1 half-life and I get 10 years. So for te in 10 years, it would, it, it would take 10 years for 3 grams of the substance Z to remain. So 10 years is the answer to this problem.